South Korea, the U.S. and Singapore have been on the hunt to extradite disgraced Terraform Lab CEO Do Gwan ever since the massive Terra Luna crush that wiped out about 40 billion U.S. dollars from the crypto market. Now, the crypto fugitive is accused of fraud and tax evasion. For more on where he's likely to end up, we're joined by Professor Jo Young from Hongik University this morning. Welcome to the program. Good morning. Good morning. Authorities in Montenegro there say Dogon will go nowhere until he's punished for the fake Costa Rican and Belgian passports found on him, which led to his arrest last month. Now, Professor, what will be his fate in Montenegro? What will happen there? So I understand that the authorities in Montenegro have actually extended uh, his detention, which uh, they are allowed to for up to 72 years to hours but that's been extended and as you mentioned uh, the authorities in Montenegro are looking to charge Togon for possessing fake passports. Now I'm not entirely clear on the passport law uh, of Montenegro but the equivalent law in Korea certainly uh, imposes uh, up to three years of maximum imprisonment uh, if you are in possession of fake passports and so that would that would be the first uh, charge that Togon might be facing in Montenegro and if he is actually found guilty of the specific offense in Montenegrin criminal law then he will most likely be required to serve time in Montenegro unless Montenegrin government decides that it's more expeditious to in fact extradite him to one of the three countries that want him. Right. And I'm sure facing a charge on passport forgery was not on his list in the beginning to begin with. I, I'm sure that's right, yes. <laughs> and now his lawyers argue that the, U, the United States Securities and Exchange Commission is violating the law and that SEC is acting outside its jurisdiction, saying that Tuan is Singaporean resident and also the Terra from uh, Labs is also a a Singaporean firm. Now, there is a speculation that the argument is largely to avoid any ruling by the U.S. Is that so? Well, obviously, uh, Togon wants to evade being extradited to uh, the U.S. because out of those three jurisdictions, U.S. has the stiffest penalty with regard to financial crimes. Uh, if you look at uh, previous cases, um, for somebody like Togon, they could be facing up to, you know, uh, hundreds of years in prison term uh, if he is in fact charged and guilty of the kind of financial fraud that uh, the securities authority in the U.S. are looking to do. Uh, and so they would be, his lawyers would be looking at uh, every avenue to try to uh, essentially cast off or argue that the SEC does not have jurisdiction here. But I think there will be an uphill battle because obviously uh, Terra Luna uh, cryptocurrency were widely available for transaction in the US and there are certainly many, many investors uh, who've lost their shirts uh, as a result of this scam in the US as well. So that, that alone would uh, give SEC uh, certain jurisdiction and they have very uh, comprehensive long arm legislation that can reach outside of its territor territorial boundary to uh, nab people overseas. So, in fact, there were uh, cases where people were actually extradited from Montenegro to U.S. for having committed certain kind of fraud during the COVID era, even though there is no extradition treaty directly between Montenegro and the U.S. Right. But the thing is, Togon is insisting that SEC is... SEC is acting outside its jurisdiction. Now, what are Togon and his lawyers' next moves expected to be, Professor? Well, I expect that they will be uh, defending the charges by the Montenegrin authorities first because, you know, currently he's in custody there and he's not a free man. And so whatever uh, they can do next only has to come after they have managed to deal with that uh, first immediate charge uh, and somehow secure his physical liberty so that he could 
uh, move somewhere else and possibly uh, plan the next steps. But so I think that will be the uppermost uh, on their minds. But in the meantime, obviously, they will also be uh, coming up with defenses and arguments to deal with uh, claims by SEC and the Singaporean authority and South Korean authorities as well. Right. It looks like it will take some time uh, for any country to extradite to one. Yes, indeed. Uh, and the question is, well, um, how will Montenegrin authority de will de de decide? And also whether if the one is indeed uh, found guilty of passport forgery charges, he will actually spend time in Montenegrin prison. Right. All right, Professor Joe, thank you so much for your insight this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you.